Hello, my love. Welcome to day five of Embodying the Goddess. My name is Tierra Chardet. I am a prophetic oracle, ordained minister, certified master life coach, best selling author, and CEO and founder of Embodying the Goddess. We are a temple and mystery school here to honor and restore the path of the goddess, honor and restore the path of the priestess. So, we have gone through many of the aspects of embodying the goddess and what that looks like. Um, we do have a mystery school and temple. Make sure you click on the links in the description box in order to tap in. So on today, day five, we're going to talk about altars and rituals that come with embodying the goddess. And I know those of us who come from religious backgrounds, this conversation could possibly be a bit taboo or triggering but I do want to remind you that in any religion in any religious path and in and, and organization there is an altar there's an altar there because it is that physical meeting place between you your ancestors your beloved deities and the most high mother father God it is that place where you really come into communion with these energies and it is very, very sacred. So the work that we do, um, we really teach how to create that altar space, an altar for your ancestors, an altar for the goddess, as well as an altar for yourself. It is very important, whether that is a physical um altar that you have in one part of your home or if it's a discreet altar that you bring out every now and again when you're doing your prayers or your meditations whatever it is your altar will serve as a powerful powerful tool in your spiritual practice the thing that i want to highlight as well is becoming this altar right um become that sacred space Become that area where you can be in devotion and in communion with the Most High. And you do that in a multitude of ways. We do go over that in Embodying the Goddess, which as many of you know is the spring semester of our mystery school. We go through step-by-step -step instructions on how to become this altar. We also include meditation, spiritual practices, and things like that. Okay. But you want to consistently create this space where you spend time with the divine. That's that's pretty much at the core of what we do. Um, create that physical space where you can lay your burdens down, where you can talk to your ancestors, especially the ancestral womb. That's where you get your downloads. That's where you get the information, the codes, the blueprint to the things that you need in order to move forward on your path. So many of you know the women who tap in, they realize that they were initiated into ancient um, practices, that they have a tribal bloodline or a royal bloodline. Many of them realize that they are deities in real life and they've been here in many different lives they've lived in many different galaxies and we tap into that by the work that we do at the altar right the, the sacred space that we cultivate in our home and in our heart okay and we cultivate many different rituals you all so in embodying the goddess within mystery school we have several rituals, several ceremonies that are here to activate you. Even in the Pussy Portal, which starts in the fall, um, we have several ceremonies, rituals to tap into, and that serves as initiations as well as activations. It serves mm -hmm. as anchor points for the woman who is here to embody the goddess, who is here to embody the goddess. So, Goddess spirituality absolutely consists of ritual. It's it's all about the ritual. Look at this cat, y'all. I don't know if you could see the cat in the camera right now, but this is my first time even seeing this cat. <laughs> Beautiful. Hi, honey. And it's a white cat. I don't think I've ever seen a, a um, an all white cat. Um, 
So that's interesting because one of the goddess rituals, we speak about cats, we speak about the feline, we speak about um, what she represents to us. I really hope that you all can see the cat. I don't know where the camera is directed. Um, but we speak about that. We speak about tapping into um, animal spirits and our uh, celestial guides. Oh my goodness, I'm so like pleased by that cat. Like I'm, I'm literally smiling. She's out of the camera view right now, but she's she's still there. She's to the right side of the camera now. But, you know, in the temple, in the mystery school, we talk about the steps on how to dive deeper into your spiritual connection and how to further your healing with these rituals. OK, so altars and rituals is a big deal, you all. Um, I want you to construct your own altar. If you don't already have one, right, make sure you construct it, make sure you tend to it, an altar for yourself with the things that you love, the things that make you feel beautiful and luxurious and healed and powerful and connected to the divine. Make sure you construct that because that is going to help raise your frequency and vibration so that you can embody the goddess. All right. So make sure you tap in. Um, I'm seeing a lot of candles right now. So many of you, you either have an altar or a home with a lot of candles, or that is your invitation to get a lot of different candles, scented candles, religious candles, candles of the saints, whatever it is that you align with, make sure you get that and surround your space with the candles. Create a sacred temple within your own home or within your own room, okay? So that wraps up today. Make sure you tap in and click on the links in the description box to tap into our mystery school. Go to work with me. Scroll down to embodying the goddess within. We are enrolling right now. Our mystery school enrolls all year round. Um, so if you would like to join embodying the goddess or the pussy portal, make sure you click on the link in tap in we're giving out amazing perks and discounts for those of you who tap into this series all right i will see you on the next video we are almost wrapping up this series i'm so excited i will see you on the next one peace and love